Hi everybody and welcome yeah. back to a YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are as always Arne and the Grey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Window. Oh, <yeah. laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. We are as always your hosts Arne and Carlos and finally it is here. Spring is here <laughs> and also our, I think we're going to call it a spring along. Spring along. The Arne and Carlos spring along. Spring affair. I heard a spring affair. A spring affair. What's Donna that? summer. Oh, okay. So we're, we're in that mood today. Are yeah, we going to be quoting songs? Quoting Donna summer songs. Okay. <laughs> hot stuff. Anyway, we've got, oh yeah, you're the hot stuff <laughs> here, Bad right? girls. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, we have gotten to spring and we have decided to do a spring along and we're calling it a spring along because we're doing a knit along and a crochet along at the same time, simultaneously. Um, every year uh, since uh, 2019, I think it was, we have done a crochet project related to flowers to celebrate spring. Yes. And this year, what we decided we wanted to do was to crochet the entire flower and also join the flower on camera so that you guys uh, can get the whole experience from beginning to end. This is perfect because if you're a new beginner and you wanted to do this but you didn't have the courage, we're going to give you the courage today. Yeah. And for all of you who are curious on how we do it, you're going to find out uh, eventually as we built the and crochet along. Do it have to be very slow? Because I guess I'm the one. Yeah, well, I'm going to be doing the crocheting too, but uh, if you want to if you want to do it your own speed, people can slow it down using the settings wheel. Yeah. So that should be okay. Anyway, also, uh, we wanted to include the knitters because we want to be all inclusive in our channel. So uh, while we do the flowers, if you don't want to do the flowers, we've gotten the blocks. Remember uh, our quarantine yeah. knitting? We designed, I don't know how many blocks, and we are starting again. We're going to be doing um, five... Five new blocks. Five new blocks. And we've got a special episode at the end of our uh, spring along where we're going to show you a great idea for what you could do with the blocks. Because we start, have started a new UFO project. Yeah. That we hopefully, we will finish it one day. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. We yeah. didn't finish blocks either or we didn't make the blanket we were no. planning we did the pillow yeah no blanket because yeah. we're good at doing ufos we are good unfinished objects yes anyway so, so today we are going to start with the first two rounds of the flower yes um, and then from there on we're going to be building this up um, and if you want the pattern you can go to arnacarlos.com and you can purchase it there uh, so that you can start doing the flowers and we promise that we're going to get you going in no time. Yeah, and what we're doing today is actually because in Norway there is no the round one is doesn't exist because mm -hmm. that's like the cast on. Yeah. So in Norway round two is the first round but in English round the cast on is round one. Okay. So it's different from Norwegian. So this sounds just as complicated as crochet terms in. Uh, it is. That's why we have all the language in front of us because yeah. it's so easy to mix up the English and mm. the American crochet language. Yeah. And we are using the felted tweed. Yeah. And while we're at it, why don't we show everybody what the the, the symbol chart looks like before we start? So, looks like this. And we have written down the the English and the American English mm. language. So, so if you if you if you just crochet from the drawings, it should be easy. Yeah. And then we also make shards for the whole flower. So this is round one and round two. And as I said, in Norway, this is not a round. It, this will be round one mm. because we are, we are doing two rounds now. Okay. To make it easy. So we start with the yellow from this is from felted tweed. But unfortunately, we ran out, so I'm going to be starting because with pink. we have made a lot. This is just a few of the flowers. Yeah. So first, you make a loop on the yarn with the tail. It doesn't matter how long that tail is, and then put the needle in. And now you pull the yarn through, and so you have six chain stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, 
six. And then you go okay. into the first and make a slip stitch. That's, that's round one in English. Yeah, so it's pretty much creating the circle, the six uh, chain that you join into a circle that becomes the little yeah. bird the on the bird. inside. And I, no, I didn't count the one I was making on the needle. Okay. But it doesn't matter. Mm. You can count it, but then you have one more. But I put just the loop. I can do it one more time. I just put this on just to start. So, and then I, I go six times. But if you want to be picky, there's actually seven chain stitches now. But who cares? <laughs> <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that was it. And then the the, sh the slip stitch. You go into the sh the first uh, the chain you made, and you pull the yarn through. And now you're ready to do round two or round one. This is the beginning. This is like the cast on. So now when you do the second round. You start with the chain of four. Actually, no, sorry, chain of five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> chain. Yeah, that's the English. Chain. Yeah, chain five. And look what I'm, I do now. When I start, I take the needle under the tail and pick up the yarn and pull it through. So this way I kind of I block the yarn a little bit, the tail. And then two, three, four, five. And then I do a treble. In UK, that's a double treble. Okay. So the yarn goes over the needle two times and we go into the hole and pick up the yarn and pull the yarn through the two first, the two next ones, and then the two last ones. And then you chain one. So now you see the first chain five is the same as a treble and chain one. Mm -hmm. And then you continue around until you have all together, there should be 12 of these, including the first chain. So one, two, three. I can see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Mm -hmm. Well, this is pretty basic. It's like we do all the beginnings of all our flowers, yeah. usually, and then we do variations on the petals, right? Yeah. And then you do the trebles around the, the ring. And the di difference is, like in, in some knitting or crocheting pa crochet patterns, uh, I think a lot of times people actually pull the the crochet hook in the stitches mm -hmm. on the ring. But when we work like with flowers like this, or if we do a grandma square or anything like we knit, we crochet on the round like this, we we go around the ring. We not work in the stitches on the ring. Yeah, it's easier when you don't work it in the stitches. Yeah. I've had to start mine again, but here Oops. we go. It is fun doing it as an along though. I like yeah. that idea. So two times so, and pull it through. So, and, and you also see the way we hold the crochet hook is in our hand. A lot of people, they hold it like this when they crochet, which for me is impossible. I can't, I can't hold it like this because I think it's too much. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's easier to hold it in the hand like this. Maybe it's because I started knitting before crocheting. I don't know. And there's another tip we also have to show because now you see when I crochet those trebles around the ring, the tail is following the work around. So you, you, you wrap the tail with the trebles as you crochet around. 
So every time it's possible to wrap a tail, wrap it. Mm. Yeah, that's a really good tip. You see, you save yourself for some of the sewing later because sometimes you can actually cover up the whole tail. So two, three, six, eight, 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 one more. One more. So a chain and then two times on the needle, then it's a treble around the ring, pick up the yarn and go through the two, the two, the two and chain one and then you end with a slip stitch in top of the first, the first, uh, the first treble. Yeah. And we just break the yarn and pull the yarn through. And that's round one. So one and two basically. One and two. Then you have all these eyes of the flower. Yep. Very pretty. Pretty. Yeah. Yes. That was easy. Yeah. This is part one of our uh, crochet and uh, knit along. There is a knit along too. Yep. Um, and for the knit along, we are going to start with uh, block number one, which is this one. These are done uh, just knitting back and forth. Uh, we did a lot of them in um, the quarantine. During the quarantine podcast. knit along, and we are starting again. You can download these at arnicarlos.com. Just go to the blog and you can get these for free. Yep. And uh, today's uh, block, Arne, is? That is inspired of a book, a patterns in a book we got from a friend. It's uh, patterns from the Faroe Islands. Yeah, Bindingermünster. Bindingermünster. Yeah. So we, this is actually two or three of the patterns we found that we changed. A hmm. bit so, a faro into a so inspired by a Faroese uh, knitting pattern, yeah. block number one. Uh, of the, our knit along. Yes. Uh, and later you will see what we are actually trying to use. Yeah, for. that's going to be episode six, so you don't want to miss that. It's going to be a whole new way to use the blocks. Um, so I can't wait until we get there. But we do have a lot of flowers to uh, to get through, and we have a lot of steps before we start joining in. So uh, the next part of our crochet along and our knit along will be uh, coming back next week. Yep. So it's going to be five weeks in a row that you're going to be watching this on Sundays. Also, we'd love it if you guys join us uh, for the knit along and show us your progress. You can do so by hashtagging all your flowers and all your blocks uh, at Arne Carlos Spring. So that's the hashtag Arne Carlos Spring. And you can also use our regular hashtag Arne Carlos. Now, if you go and hashtag both uh, of those tags, on your images, you will be eligible to win a special prize in a competition that we have in collaboration with Prim. Yep. And this time we have a really good prize. You don't want to miss this either. Let me just uh, <laughs> get it. Uh, the prize is this cute little thing, uh, which is a mini knitting mill. And as you can see from the box, uh, you can knit I-cord with this. And it is super small, so you can actually put it in your bag and take it with you wherever you go. Uh, it's this big. Isn't this cute? Yeah. And this is... Uh, and then you have a... There's a weight as well. This is more mobile yeah. than the other one because this one you just hold in your hand like this. And crank the handle. And then you go and you produce I-cord like crazy. Yeah, and you could, for example, take the I-cord and decorate the blocks, whatever it is, if you're doing a blanket, you could edge that blanket with an I-cord. So a really useful uh, little tool to have, perfectly compact, yep. and it could be yours if you join the competition. So remember to tag uh, Arne Carlos and tag Arne Carlos Spring. You can do so on, U uh, sorry, on, on Facebook and you can do so on Instagram as well. Um, and uh, if you want to join our Facebook group that we've started only for this knit along and crochet along, you can do so in the description down below. This group is going to be open throughout uh, the weeks that we have this uh, knit and crochet along going on. And it will also be active for one month after we finish before we close it. Yeah. So there is uh, plenty for you guys to do. Start making your centers, start practicing these. Or the and, eye of the flower. Yeah, or the eye of the flower. And we will be back next week, Arne. And what are we gonna be doing next week? We are going to do round three. Which will be this one. Yes. So I can't wait 
<laughs> for this. I had to start a couple of times. I'm having a little bit of an issue here, but I'm getting there. You can talk and do things. I know. I'm really bad at multitasking. And my philosophy anyway is I'm still joining the knit along. I'm oh, sorry, the crochet along. I may be a little later than everybody, but it's the end result that counts. But we have a lot of flowers already. Yeah. And oh. I am going to be able to make uh, a couple as well. Yeah. So. How about some um, formalities? Yeah. If you like our videos, put your thumbs up. And if you're a subscriber, put on the notifications because then you won't miss the episode. And put yourself on the mailing list because then you will have all the news before other people. Especially now that we're traveling, you don't want to miss us. So make sure to put <laughs> your name on the mailing list. Or maybe you will miss us. Then you better know. <laughs> yeah. Then you better be on the mailing list. Because that's the only place we <laughs> release our uh, details of when we travel. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And don't miss part two of our Spring along next week. Bye. Bye. See you.